guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon, and we are here again today for another compilation video reaction from BTS. <laughs> So like I said in my first video this morning, I am just tired today. I don't have much energy to focus. I don't have much energy to really read into lyrics and really put my mind effort into those places. So what I decided to do was first have my morning coffee with sugar. <laughs> Did that, that was great. You guys have obviously figured out my bias. Obviously. It's sugars, okay? Little sugar sugar, little meow meow, all of it. Great, love that, favorite, obvious. Try not to make it as obvious as it is, but as I go back and watch my videos, pretty clear. <laughs> but there was one person that commented that really made me start thinking. Somebody said, You think I have a second bias? <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know what bias was a month ago. And y'all trying to tell me I have multiple? <laughs> well, listen, what would I love about somebody that is great at choreography, that loves contemporary dancing, that's a great singer, that can act very well, that's clumsy, funny, and you know, just the life of the party? <laughs> what would I like about that? You know, what would I be drawn to? Friggin' everything. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm really still trying to figure it all out here. I don't know who is my favorite, but you know what I mean? Second favorite. I just, I love them all so much and I'm still getting to learn all their personalities. I just kind of honed in on one in the beginning and it got a little sweet. <laughs> And one thing that I do love about Jimin is the fact that he is a great contemporary dancer and that is something that he's been honing in on the entire time they've been a group. So if you guys haven't heard me say that 50,000 times already, I was a dancer for a long time. I did a contemporary mostly, so I can just relate to this on such a different level of seeing that art. I mean, not that you can't, but I'm just like, I just wanna be there kind of relation. I did also ask a question one time too about has anybody fallen? Like what's the case there? Like what's the thesis? And you guys told me that Jimin is clumsy. So I found a video today called BTS Jimin being clumsy. <laughs> Creative. And I thought instead of just, you know, reacting to all of them or reacting to Sugar, let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. Let's do a solo reaction to a Jimin compilation. Let's see him fall down. Y'all know my heart's gonna go crazy because I'm a soft stand, so I just want everybody to be safe and just everybody be okay and they don't overwork themselves and they seem to always overwork themselves and it's sad, but I understand you have to do it for this industry. So without further ado, let's go ahead and react to BTS Jimin. I'm being clumsy. Don't hurt yourself though. This is making me kind of nervous now. I'm a little scared. <laughs> wasn't bad though, it wasn't bad. He just did a little slip, looked like he was going into a split. So it's okay. He should've just kept rolling over and just did like a little, hey people. But he played it off though. Precious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this boy does not know how to use his feet. I am convinced somebody needs to take those two little steppers away from him. I am 29 seconds into this 10 minute video and I have seen him fall like six times already. How many times is he gonna be falling in this video? This is actually making me a little bit more nervous that I am laughing, but bitch is still funny. <laughs> you see that he just has so much energy and so much love for what he's doing that he just doesn't even notice his surroundings and that's what it is, which is a good characteristic of an artist. <laughs> Determination. Look, that is one thing that I can really love about somebody is that when they get told no or they fall down, they literally get back up again. And just watching this one little clip here from Jimin, he's gotten up like eight or nine times. So that body must be filled with determination. Like a six pack and determination is what fills him. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Wait, like I know this is a Jimin video, but Suga, how can I relate so hard to you? <laughs> He's playing a game, I guess, where you kill other people. He pointed to himself, said, I have no will to live on. <laughs> Why do we have the same humor? This is stupid. This is about Jimin. <laughs> Every 
Gabby is just having so much fun though. That you can just tell he just gets so into it that it just takes over his body. And that is literally the definition of a dancer. That you just let go. Another serious note here. I do know that from watching other videos that Jimin is a little bit sensitive about messing up on stage, falling off, not hitting a note, something like that. Does this really mess with his head? Cause like they make a whole video out of him falling. And I can see that I know that he's had some other issues in the past too where the fame was kind of getting to him. What is this? Does he laugh about it now? I'm really hoping he just laughs about it because I'm just laughing about it in love and hopefully that he's okay and nothing is hurting on him. But just, what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> he can't even stand. He is just trying to stand and he falls over. This boy does not have any balance, but then he has the most amazing balance in the world when he does his dancing. How is this a thing? <laughs> Are they not giving him shoes with good soles on the bottom? Is this all a big joke from Big Hit just to make him the clumsy one? Because this is, it's happening a lot. <laughs> and every single time I just like, I just catch you, but I can't. I will catch you if you fall. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> that was my fear. That was my fear. I know we're having all fun and games and stuff too, but when it comes to little flips, flipping over things, that is where things get real. I gotta sit, hold on. Got a little too nervous there. See, oh, I don't know if I could do this anymore. This is too much. <laughs> Oh, good save though, good save. Not, you are not about to open up. Those look like flaming Hot Cheetos in an all-white suit, Jimin. That is literally asking for trouble. Get somebody to open it up for you. Good job, good thought. Because no, you're gonna ruin this suit. <laughs> it is literally like he is on an ice skating rink. I don't understand this. I don't get it. No, 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 I thought they were all about to crash down. That's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. 
Okay, so a little weird note here. So the suitcase that he was riding on just now is from Remova. That is a store that I used to work at on Rodeo Drive. And this is just bringing back a memory from about two years ago, literally before I even had any idea who BTS was. There was a group of like 30 girls running around Rodeo Drive and they were chasing a group of boys. Now, you know, we always try to get the scoop on the street. So we're like, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And they said something about, I think it's just an international boy band. Now, I'm wondering, did I help fix Jimin's bag? Because he would bring it into the store for repairs. And I didn't know these people back then. Oh my God. Did I help them? I used to carry those trunks up and down the staircase every single day, just a year-ish, a little bit more. If I would have known I may have met BTS, that would have changed. All right, sorry, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Jimin, hold on to something. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. If all else fails, bitch, fall into that split. How did y'all notice all these little subtle movements? A lot of them are just like a and a oop kind of moments. How do y'all study this footage to see that this is crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of y'all also told me where this came from, but what video is this where they are playing games? Because I need to watch that. I need to see who has the best skills, who has the best precision, and the best aim. If you know what I mean. I know it's not Jimin, <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's just like, we know you now. We know how clumsy you are. Why do we choose you to be the person in the chair that goes up the ramp? You know, like that's that's the questions that I'm asking now. We have clear evidence that the balance games, <laughs> not really for him, still confuse as to why he gets put in those situations. But you know, honestly, he needs to live his life because even when he's just standing there, sometimes he falls. So we can't take away things in life just because Jimin might fall because it's probably inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh god.
break a bomb? <laughs> so he's clumsy not only with falling, but just like he touches things and it breaks. How many bruises and cuts and scrapes does he have on his body? Is his body filled with bruises and stuff due to the clumsiness? I need to know these answers. You can't unsee this. This is now my memory. I'm gonna be watching for Jimin to trip. <laughs> That was good though. Oh god. <laughs> what is on his head? I've come to that effect in my head. He just kind of plays with things, tinkers with things, messes with things, but at least he is having fun. And that's what really matters here. That's what really matters. I'm having fun watching this, even though I am a nervous wreck. Cause I know like maybe the finale, he's just gonna jump off a stage completely and just fall off into the oblivion unknown. I'm hoping not, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> I love that he just did that double take. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it anyway. You got a little spot on the table, don't wipe it up, wipe it up. Before they notice, I'm just trying to help. Freaking noise though. is that they show that he just kind of plays it off at the end, just tries to be cute, tries to do fun little things to keep everybody laughing and keep everybody happy. And I bet that in all the stress and anxiety they have to face every single day with fans and music and performances, that this Jimin rhetoric here is kind of just probably comic relief. And I hope that he takes it with a good heart and I hope that he knows that we don't hate him for the falling. We know how much energy and love he puts into it. So it's definitely okay. I just will say we need to have a little bit of a balance practice though here, Jimin. Just please, let's just walk straight line. Let's figure something out here. You are gonna fall and it's gonna be your last fall one day. I don't want that. So after watching that video, I'm having a complex. I know that y'all like force people to pick bias and stuff and what if you just love them all? You know, what if you really just take the time to get to know them all and just fall in love? There can't be bias. Can I be biased for all of them? I'll work on that and get back to you guys. <laughs> but with that being said, that's gonna do it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Click the thumbs up down below if you liked it. Also comment down any other compilation videos that you want me to react to. Lastly, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos. You never know how many are gonna come out in one day, if any are gonna come out at all. It's a wild, wild west out here, okay? The certainty of my videos are about the same as the certainty that your men can stand up without falling. We don't know. <laughs> all right guys, with that being said, let me go ahead and get started with my editing and I'll see you soon. So. Until next time. Bye, guys.